Hi, thank you for tuning in to ACMI's Holiday Workshop. Today we're going to be making cards. And the ones that I have here that you see are ones that are made from recycled cards. So if you're like me, I don't throw any of my cards away and this is what I've done with these. I've taken parts of them and then cut them up and then superimposed other materials on top of them other little parts of cards. And the same way with this one. Just fiddling around with designs, having fun, adding a sticker, all kinds of things that you can do that I'll have for you today. And we'll start out with recycling card pieces. This was a cute little piece. I could never throw that away. And I put some little trees behind it. And here we have a holiday card that looks like a new one with stickers. And you can buy stickers on Amazon if you're going to be doing this. Very easy. Just look up holiday stickers. So cards these days are really expensive. And I don't know whether you're going to be sending out as many this year, but this might inspire you to make some within the time that's left for yourself. So let's get started here. I'll leave these right here for you to keep looking at. And here's some materials I'll be using for my next card. You'll need a glue stick, a nice colored gold pen, and a pen. And this was a card that I just thought was lovely. I think it's the Boston Common. I really hate to cut into it but otherwise it would just end up in my stack of cards. So here we go. I'm going to cut it right in the middle. Actually, I could make two cards out of this, but let's see how this works. I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to glue it onto this nice card I had right to my right. Now you can get cards like this in packs with envelopes. You can either buy online or at Michael's, or at Playtime. I get lots of my supplies from those three places. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take my glue stick, and I'm going to glue this piece right on to this. And because it's got this beautiful gold edge, it's even going to look a little nicer, fancier. So here we are. And I'm not sure that that's straight, but it doesn't always need to be perfect. And then there was another card that I had that had a border on it. And this is a beautiful little card, and I just have to say goodbye to it. But here we go. I'm going to cut right along this edge. And I'm going to make a collage card. Collage means put different pieces together to make a new design. And I would put this right at the bottom, cut here, and measure. Take my glue stick and put this at the bottom. I think I'll move that up just a little bit. All right, so now I have a new card and I look at it and I think, oh, it might look nice if I just took my gold pen. I can get these at playtime. I use them with all kinds of things. Just make a nice little gold line to connect these pieces. Make another piece up here. And look what we have. Boston Garden, featured in a new way for the holidays. Fun holiday card. All right, well, I think you get the gist of this. You just cut up pieces, take parts, add lines, add whatever you want, and then you might like to take a sticker and, or even, I have a little snowflake here that comes in this set of stickers. Let's see if I can get this off. Uh, that one's not coming. Let's go for this one. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, here we go. So here's a nice little snowflake. Maybe I'd put this right 
down here just to give an added touch. So some of your friends will know you fussed a little and you made them happy with the new design. So this is my idea for recycling cards, using old ones, making collages, making setups, adding stickers, whatever you like. Just have fun playing with this type of card and it will be very, very inexpensive for you. So now we're gonna to move to another card, which will be fun, a whole other thing. So hold on. All right, so here is a second set of cards that we can make. And these I'll call my reindeer cards. I just loved it when I found this beautiful handmade piece of paper. If you hold it to the light, I wonder if it shows through. They're beautiful reindeer, little ones and big ones. This is at playtime. And they have other printed pieces of paper that are just beautiful. So I saw this and I wasn't sure what I would do. But here are examples of what I did do. And this is one, a little reindeer, with a little ribbon through the bottom. It, when it stands alone, it's just not quite enough. So I thought, add some details. So I did. Here's another one, just a plain one, with writing at the bottom. Very, very simple, but sweet. And then this one, two reindeers. And I think, reindeer, yep, and I think I might put a few more little accents in there. So let's see how you do this. It's just a little bit fussy, but it's worth it. Because if you send this, trust yourself that no one else will have thought of this idea. Just you. So I'm gonna cut from this piece one of the reindeer. Now if I put this on this card, and these also, I think came from Playtime and a whole set. If I just put it like this, it just wouldn't look that interesting. So how do you get the nice effect? Let me do this. I'm gonna cut one other small reindeer to go with this and I'll show you what you do. It's a little bit fussy, but it's worth it. What you do is you take the edges and you find an area where you can pull it and it almost looks like a little woven piece of cloth. This is a little fussy, but these pieces that are left are going to be used. Nothing's gonna be thrown away. And I'll show you how. So I pull the edges like this, so it looks like it might be a little piece of cloth, not just a cutout. That looks just a little bit better when I put it on here, see? And then what you try to avoid is having angles because they're kind of hard to pull away. So you just take your nail and you pull. And watch where the reindeer is if you get this because you don't want to pull off one of his legs or distort what he looks like. So here we have some nice edges. Sometimes this paper is so stiff it's really hard to pull, but this is good. I'm glad. And then here we go, this little section and at the top of his horns. Mm, that needs to be pulled away. The more little lift offs you get, the better. Just looks more interesting. Okay, now these are going to be put together and I'm gonna turn this around this time I'm gonna use a glue stick and see if that works. What I would suggest is using a different type of glue, which is a heavier glue to make that stick. And let me see back here. I think I have the heavier glue. Well, maybe I don't and I'll stick with this. All right. So I'm gonna do this to the edges We don't want these falling off the cards while they're in the mail truck, going to your friends. So put this right on here. I'm gonna lift it a little bit up from the bottom because on this one, I'm gonna put some greetings. 
And it's nice if you attach the two for some reason. This is a little crooked. Let's go like that. And then what I did at the bottom to look like there's a little plant growing or there's a little accent that you can add is to find the best of these pieces that I, you've chopped up. So this I'll glue and I'll put on. I'll make it look like a little plant, something coming out of the earth. At first I thought I really like to leave these just white but then it just didn't quite make it. So I added a few little twinkles and dots and things. So here we are with a little plant here like this. And then I would go ahead and make some little twinkly things. Now, isn't this sweet? I made this upside down. <laughs> this is funny. It could go like this. I was working too fast, but anyway, you would reverse it. And you could take a pen and you could make some little dots like this. Make some snowflakes. Just have fun adding whatever details you like. So there. Out of that big piece, we have taken two deer, and it just looks sweet. And you might like to add, if you um, have some glue, and then put on sprinkles and twinkle this up, but here you have the reindeer cards. And if you'd like to add some lettering on the outside, that's a possibility. And here are three other possibilities again adding little sticks, little twinkles, and there you go. With something that's kind of original. I just, there's something about these that just are warm and cozy. Have fun making reindeer cards. Stay tuned. There's a third kind of card we'll make that are really easy. A little fussy, but easy. Okay. Here we are with a set of tree cards that I made with different scraps of material. These are Christmas colors, but they're nice designer colors and they make a nice card with three triangles, a little sticker, and some other pieces. This is a different kind of tree card. Again, just by cutting triangles and adding details. And this is, was made the same way. And so was this and this. Now this was a mistake. And I'll show you at the end what I did to resurrect this card. And I thought, wow, this is kind of fun. The new way of making the card stand up. Okay, so here we go. So first, you need to have nice scraps of paper. Michaels has beautiful papers. Playtime does and you may find packs online or just scrap pieces that you have. So let's get started. I'm just going to cut three triangles. They can be the same size or they can be varied. I think I'll use this. The silver always looks nice and stands out. So I'll cut a nice silver tree. I'm used to doing this. You may need to use a ruler. I think we lost that guy. We'll go after another one. Here's a silver tree. And they can be placed all at one level or you can bury them however you want. It is your card and your design. Don't think I'm going to put in a black tree. I'll leave that for the stems. But this is always a nice design. So we'll cut this is the third triangle. I think I'll put that right there. So with this paper, because it is stiff, you're going to want to use kind of an Elmer's glue. This is a craft glue. So you just glue the edges. Sometimes it takes time for this stuff to work its way to the nozzle, but we'll get there. 
There we go. Okay, make sure your edges are nicely covered. I'm just going to go quickly on this. I'm going to start out with that. I would always use that kind of glue when you're making this card because you don't want these pieces to fall off. But I'm going to switch to this, my glue stick. And this might work. I just have always used the other. But I want to do this for you so you can see quickly how this comes about. Now this probably will take, I bet, three minutes to make. And if you have friends that you still want to send cards to, you can definitely do this without thinking it's really time consuming. I cut up little pieces of black for contrast. One, two, and if you see your pieces are coming up off the piece of card, just put your hand and make it stay down. Here comes the third one in the middle. This is so easy. It's just fun. You can tolerate just a little bit of a mess so far. This is what we have. But let's doctor it up a little bit and make it a little bit more festive. So what can we do? We can take some glue and we could let's just try putting some little dots around like little snowflakey things and let's see what happens when we put sprinkles on it little sparkles usually I when I do my sparkles I do them at my table and then I take them to my sink so there's a place for them, the little pieces that I don't use, not to be all over the place. So I'm just going to go very gently with this, and I'm going to, for now, do this. Well, that added a little bit of something, but I think this looks like it needs a little bit more. So I'll put a little bit more glue so it looks like a pathway through the woods. How's that? And a couple more sprinkles. Okay. So far, so good. Let's put on, let's choose a snowflake. These I got at Playtime. I think they have them at Michael's. But it's fun to vary your designs with snowflakes or the holiday symbols. You might be sending this to somebody who doesn't celebrate Christmas but just likes celebrating the holidays. So isn't that fun? This did not take that much time, did it? Nope. And then I want to show you this. This card I made and I started doing all kinds of lines and I didn't like it. So then I put the black over the lines and I thought, hmm, I've saved that part of it, but then I realized I had made this upside down and I couldn't open the card. It opened the wrong way. So I thought, well, let's just cut it. And the way I saved this card was to take the top. Let's pretend that maybe this same thing happened here. Let's see if I have the strings. Maybe I don't. I guess I don't. But anyway, you can see what I did. What I did was I put a hole here and a hole here, and I put these nice little yarns through. And so I have a stand-up card, and that works really well. Just a little different. And I don't think that would be bulky in an envelope. But just variety is just so much fun. So have fun making little triangular tree cards. Try that. Now I have one more thing for you, so stay tuned. All right. How many of you have switched from giving gifts to giving cards, gift cards to people? Well, I kind of like to give tangibles, but I know it's a popular thing. So this is a wonderful way to give 
a card in a little beautiful packet that you've made. And here's the gift card inside. And you can put the person's name on. But I wonder, how do you do this? How do you go from this to this? Well, I'll show you. Let's take this apart step by step. I'll put the card over here. I'll undo this and you will see what I did. Here is a circle. When I first made this, I thought, oh my goodness, this is a trick and a half. I'm not sure, but it's really not that hard. So let's get started. I'll show you step by step how to do this. All right, here's my circle. I took a bowl and I cut, I traced the circle from the edge of the bowl. Then I put two pieces of paper together, wrapping paper, face to face. All right, so let's do that much on a smaller scale. I'm going to just take my glue stick and I'm gonna go around here I'm going to put these two guys together and hope they will stick. Okay. And of course we want to have the decorated side on the outside. So here we go. Here's this side. Here's this side. Next step is you fold your little packet in half. Now remember, I, I'm i just making this on a smaller scale to show you. Then you fold one side over to the other like this. And I will hold this up so you can see it. All right, like this. Now this look like this Needs a little trim. So right now I'll just give this a little trim. Now, I'm not going to stick the card in that way. I've got to open up this shape and I'm going to cut right on the folds here and here. Then I'm going to fold my little packet back up like this. It's kind of like an origami piece. Now this is hanging down. This, you wonder what are you going to do with that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it up. I'm going to fold it like this and I'm going to fold it to the back. And guess what I have? I have a nice little structure, a little design at the bottom. So I'll glue this so this will stay here. Nicely. And I've got to glue this on this side so this will stay up attached to this. Now, I might have gotten a little fussy there and then put, before I put on some other kind of design. I'm not going to do the sprinkles right now, but you can take glue and glue right along here and right along here and decorate this any way you want. And then I would take some ribbon and then just give it a nice little accent. I'll pull this apart. It's good to keep all kinds of ribbon around and then put this right here. Trim the edges. Today I'm just going to use this kind of glue, but I definitely would use the heavier glue. Put that right at the bottom and there you have a cute little 
packet or a pocket for a gift card. Now, is that not cute? I think everybody in your family would love one. So this is the little piece that we will end with today. But next week, there'll be one more workshop and it's going to be all things angels. So I'm going to unwrap this. And this is a very different kind of angel that I made. I live on Spy Pond, right near the bike path. And I love to pick up sticks and collect natural materials. And I do a lot of things with fairies and gnomes and trolls. And I just am always looking for wonderful pieces. So I just thought I wanted to make an, kind of an earthy angel this year. So next week, I'll show you how I made these. Is she not cute? And a friend gave me a wreath that I took apart, and I saved all these little pieces to make for the little wings and the body. And then this little face is made with Sculpey clay. I'll show you how to do that. And then she has on a little acorn hat. And then there's a little piece of plastic, and she could hang anywhere and just twist around. So next time, tune in, and it's going to be all things angels. There'll be all kinds of angels that you can make. Ones that hang, ones that sit, ones that are just very, very sweet. So thank you for tuning in. Happy holidays. Happy creating, everyone. This is really the time to use your hands and give to others, and others appreciate handmade things so much. I know they do. Thank you. <music>